Hello, it is Direct Mail Monday, Labor Day, September 2nd, 2019. Steve Cypress here. Hope you are enjoying the, quote, holiday. Uh, not, uh, not, of course, the favorite holiday or even germane to entrepreneurs and business owners. It's uh, germane to the 9 to 5 workers who uh, felt, uh, you know, 150 years ago or so that they were working too much. Uh, and so they went on strike and uh, got their own holiday, Labor Day, whatever. Anyway, we are uh, upholding the Labor Day tradition of having a little barbecue get together. Some family and friends coming over. So my beautiful wife, Michelle, is the hostess with the mostess and putting out the stuff. And all the umbrellas are up and ready for the festivities. Oh, there's a lot of duckies in the pool ready for the kids to come along and swim. Oh, we got the very nice, the red, white, and blue tablecloths are out. If you saw yesterday, I went live when a monsoon was coming our way, but it kind of passed over the home, but we did have winds whipping around now. It is a typical summer day here in the sunny Phoenix, Scottsdale area. Probably around 100, getting up to near 110, and pure sunshine, and we're going to enjoy the day. Anyway, direct mail Monday, no mail arriving in the mailbox today. Of course, federal holiday for the federal super cow workers. So I thought I'd, uh, and I do have a stack of mail. I got plenty of stuff. I was just looking through it. I got some cool stuff to go through, but I just figured I'd give you a tip today. Uh, and I, I put it right there in the uh, question in the video. You know, what is your direct mail sales rep telling you? Because I tell you, I see, uh, you know, when I go on to Facebook, I do these videos every day. So at the end of my day, I go through Facebook and I see all kinds of ads coming in for people selling, advertising, Facebook ads. We'll, we'll teach you about Facebook ads. And, and you know, if you follow my videos, or even if you're any student at all of effective communication, persuasion, sales, advertising, marketing, manipulation, whatever you want to call it, influence, all the different terms, you know that fear is a much more powerful motiv motivator than positivity, right? And so, of course, you see that with uh, politicians, all the elections are based on fear. And uh, right now, uh, to my clients and friends in Florida, be safe, all of that coverage of the hurricane is mostly fear-based and very little fact-based. You know, they'll throw a couple of facts up, the storm is here, and then they get right into the fear. And we don't know where it's going, and it might go here. And if it does, ooh, ah, and looking back through the past, it's been terrible, ooh, ah, what a, you know, they get right into the fear, because they know that's what gets the viewers coming back for more. And so, same thing happens. I see all of my Facebook people, the gurus, using the fear, you know what they're doing. And they say things like, uh, you know, Facebook ads, they're getting tougher. They're getting more expensive and they're getting tougher, which is true. Google AdWords, getting tougher, getting more expensive. Uh, email, email is tougher than ever to get into that inbox and get your email open. It's getting tougher, less effective. You gotta do it right. And, and they all, of course, finish with, so you gotta pay me money. You gotta learn from me how to do it right. And it got me to thinking, since it's Direct Mail Monday, you know, I never see a post by anybody giving out any fear about direct mail. So no one that I know of, and if I'm wrong, you know, post in a comment below and let me know. But I don't know of anyone out there who is convincing anyone, you know, direct mail is tougher than it ever was. Because first of all, it's not. It's easier than it ever was. In case you can't tell, or in case you're, for some reason, incredibly different than everybody else, there's a lot less physical mail being delivered than ever. And so it's easier than ever, as opposed to all that other stuff. All the pitches of all those other things are, well, people are getting bombarded with Facebook ads now, so it's tougher than ever to cut through the clutter. People get lots of emails now, more than ever. It's tougher to cut through the clutter. People get more, you know, there's more competitors for Google AdWords, more expensive and tougher than ever, blah, blah, blah. Well, there's less direct mail than ever, Therefore, the gurus can't come out and say, to their credit, they don't lie to you and say it's tougher than ever, because it's not, it's easier than ever. And then I put in a facetious question as the subtitle of this video. 
is uh, what does your direct mail sales rep tell you? Uh, and of course, that's a facetious, silly question. There are no direct mail sales reps that I know of. There's no one calling you saying, hi, I work for the post office. I'm calling you to selling you on why you should use more direct mail. So guess what? You got nobody, honestly, nobody is yapping about that direct mail is less effective or tougher than ever, because that would be a lie. It's easier than ever. It's the, still the surest way to make more money, and it's easier and more sure than ever now. Uh, and there are no uh, sales reps from the post office or anywhere else that I know of that are getting paid a commission on how much direct mail you send. So they're working so hard to convince you that you should be sending more direct mail. So you're probably not thinking of it. It's also not sexy and new. You know, our brains are configured. Again, if you follow my videos, I talk a lot about human behavioral psychology. And our brains are uh, designed, we are conditioned to believe that new is better. New is exciting, new is fun. Direct mail is not new, so that can't be exciting, that can't be fun. Uh, there's got to be something better. Newer is better. So direct mail is older than all this internet stuff, so it must not be as good. Well, if you use direct mail, you know none of that is true. And if you don't, I urge you to give it a shot. Now, of course, dependent on, you want to use the wow strategy, right? Direct mail is just a way. Might not be appropriate for you. But all I'm looking for you to do is dependent on who's your your ideal target who and what's your irresistible offer and what are you looking to uh, to uh, to achieve for your advertising, marketing, persuasion, influence, communication. Uh, I'm just uh, urging you to possibly not totally discount it in favor of thinking, oh, it's not new, it's not exciting, it's not fun, and there's nobody telling me how great it is, so it must not be. Uh, nobody's paid to tell you how great direct mail is. No direct mail sales reps. You've got to be smart enough on your own to consider it as a possibility. And as always, if you want help with knowing whether or not you should be using direct mail, not everybody should. And if so, what are the steps, the exact steps to take to make it work for you? Go to helpfromsteve.com and I'll help you out. Otherwise, we are getting ready for the troops to be heading on in. Ooh, the tablecloth saving out. Fancy tablecloth on the, again, if you saw my monsoon video yesterday, you saw none of this stuff. There's no pool floats in the pool and there was no tablecloths. The umbrellas weren't open and didn't have all kinds of music wasn't playing and we didn't have all the vodka and whatever that stuff is out. Uh, Vishal is here, long time Vishal. Vishal, one of my favorites. Vishal says, love your Dan Kenny video on YouTube. You were really sad. Glad to see you smiling now. Well, sad isn't the word, Vishal. Um, shocked, more of the word, and saddened, maybe. Uh, you know, death is pretty much the only thing sure in life. And uh, my main mentor in the world of marketing, the person who helped me more than anyone else, is in hospice right now. So, yeah, that at a fairly young age. It's not that much older than me, so brought uh, some shock to myself and a lot of friends and associates that also look to Dan Kennedy uh, as a, uh, a guide and a mentor and a big force in our lives. And so, yeah, that was some disappointing news. Uh, latest news says Dan is feeling better. And so we're all still praying and hoping and wishing for a miracle recovery. They happen. Why not with Dan? So thanks for your concern and thanks for watching my videos. Hope you get something out of them. Hope you have more fun, make more money, and have less stress. And hope you're enjoying your day. I don't think they're celebrating Labor Day in your neck of the woods. Which makes it a smarter place than here. Anyway, that'll do it for Direct Mail Monday. I'll be back tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. We're about to let the party begin. And thank you for being here today. And I'll catch you tomorrow over and out. Bye-bye.